Sean. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sean Egan. I'm an instructor here at the Center for Irish Music in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, I've been listening to Irish music since I was a preschooler, and I've been playing Irish music since I was in college in the early 80s, so for over 30 years now. Um, in addition to playing Irish music, I also play a number of other kinds of music, and I have a degree in composition from DePaul University. And I'm Leah Ellison, and I'm a student of Sean's and of other teachers here, and um, also learning how to take video. All right. And Leah uh, basically does all the work for these videos. She shoots the videos, she edits them, she posts them. So this, this course is something that I've been wanting to do for many years, I've had in my mind. And um, if Leah hadn't agreed to help me with this, it never would have gotten underway. So, so thank Sean, you very much. why should we study music theory? Well, um, first of all, you really, if, if you're playing Irish music, you really don't need to study <laughs> music theory. If, you're, if you just want to play the tunes, the tunes have their own logic. You just play one note after another, and it, it creates its own sort of logic. And you can pick up on that intuitively, you know, and you do pick up on that intuitively. And if you just want to do that, that's fine. You can get by in Irish music without really studying these because you can just play the tunes and they tell you everything you need to know in to a certain extent um, but if you think about it you know if you imagine you know like you're trying to, to come into Irish music and learn to play it it's kind of like coming into a new neighborhood and learning your mm -hmm. way around mm -hmm. and if you you know somebody gives you directions and they say you know go down to the end of the street and then turn right, and then go two more streets, and turn right, and go three houses, and turn left, and then you're where you want to be. And you can follow those directions and get to where you want to be. That's kind of like learning a tune note by note and just playing mm -hmm. it. And once you've followed enough directions around the neighborhood to different places, you really do develop a sense of how the neighborhood is laid out. But if when you had moved in that neighborhood, somebody had given you a map of how the neighborhood is laid mm -hmm. out, in addition to giving you those instructions, it would have been so much easier to find your way around. Mm -hmm. And having sort of the abstract knowledge that that map gives you, along with the you know, intimate, intuitive knowledge that just walking down the street gives you, those two combine to give you a much better sense of how everything is laid out. Either one, each one by itself is kind of incomplete, but together they really you know, are very powerful. Mm -hmm. And you would get both kinds of knowledge eventually. If you, if you tried to find your way around solely just by the map, you would still have to walk down each street. Mm -hmm. And you, if you only just followed specific directions, you would eventually form a mental map. But having mm -hmm. both at the outset just makes everything so much easier. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it just, it makes it easier, it makes it easier to understand almost everything that you'll encounter as a musician. It's understanding how, how music is laid out that way. There's another analogy you mentioned to me earlier that had to do with oh, pizza. The pizza what was yeah, that? analogy. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you think about somebody who loves Irish music, you know, and compare them to somebody who loves pizza. So if you love pizza, you can really learn a lot about pizza just by eating pizza, going to different pizza restaurants and, and you know, you can become a pizza connoisseur and develop a deep understanding, a deep knowledge of pizza from that point of view, which is the same as listening to a lot of Irish music and, and really loving it and, and experiencing that way. But you can also, like, make your own pizza. Somebody can give you some pizza dough and some sauce and some cheese and some toppings and show you how to make it, and then you can make it yourself, and you can make it the way you like it. You can make mm -hmm. the dough thicker or thinner, or add more or less sauce or cheese or put different toppings on. And that's basically the same as learning the tunes. Learning to play the tunes, you can play them slower or faster or bouncier or more fluidly and with different ornamentation. And you can make a pizza and then share it with your friends. It's a very satisfying <laughs> experience. And you know you can play a tune. You know, learn to play a tune beautifully and play that with your friends and play it for people. And that's also a very satisfying experience. But if you want to take it a step further when you're making pizza, you can learn how to make your own dough and your own sauce, let's say. And you can really make it exactly the way you want it and get these flavors that you're imagining out there. But in order to do that, you need to learn about the ingredients. You need to learn about the tomatoes, the garlic, rise. you know, how does dough mm -hmm. rise, what goes into dough, what different things you can customize it with, with mm -hmm. whole wheat flour or put in cornmeal and all the different things you can do there. 
And you, so you really need to understand the individual ingredients and how they all relate to each other to create the flavors and textures that you want in your pizza. And then you can really make the pizza just exactly the way you're imagining it. You can try all kinds of different things that you might not have been able to think about trying if you didn't have that knowledge. And basically what we're doing here is learning the ingredients of Irish music. The different notes, the different patterns that the notes create, how they all relate to each other. And that gives you a really powerful um, set of knowledge that you can use to make the music just the way you want it to be. And it's also just, I think, really fascinating and fun um, to do it. And when I was a young musician, like I started playing clarinet in my grade school band, and I did that for a few years. And then I started taking piano lessons, and my piano teacher started teaching me music theory. And suddenly, it just all made sense. And you know, instead of like when I was playing the clarinet, it was just one note followed by another note followed by another note for no, you know, and I could tell that the tunes, you know, sounded nice, but I didn't know why one note followed another one. And when I started learning how they all fit together, it was just this amazing moment and like the scales fell from my eyes and it was just a super powerful thing for me as a, as a musician. It was one of the most empowering experiences of my life, really, honestly, understanding that, you know, how music theory and how the notes fit together. And, um, and it's made things much easier for me as I try to play different kinds of music. And it's just been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, if you want to, to really be good at Irish music, the things that are probably essential would be listening to a lot of Irish music. There's no way to, around that, but if you love Irish music, you're probably doing it anyway. And learning the tunes by ear, that the knowledge and the kind of understanding of the tunes you get by learning them by ear is essential to be able to, to play Irish music properly. So you need to do that. Um, and I, you know, this course presupposes that you're doing that, listening to a lot of good Irish music and learning to play, play the tunes by ear. And, you know, having a good teacher or mentor show you, you know, how it all works and help you with the, the problems you face on your instrument is, I think for most people, probably essential. And of course, having people to play the music with mm -hmm. is, you know, that's kind of the essential piece of the puzzle. That, that's what it's for, in a way, for, for most people. Although, if, if you just want to sit at home and play the tunes and mm -hmm. you get what you need from that, that's great too. Um, and you will, most Irish musicians develop an understanding of the material that we're presenting by learning the tunes on more than one instrument, which mm -hmm. really gives you, you know, a different viewpoint on the tune and forces you to think about it in a different way. So that's a very powerful way to, to get a better overall understanding of the music. Um, by learning to accompany the tunes, which forces you to really pay attention to the harmonic and rhythmic aspects of the tunes. And by singing the tunes, which forces you to really you know, listen to them very carefully so that you can reproduce them using only your voice. So those, you know, once, and for many Irish musicians, they do all of those things. They play more than one instrument. They both play tunes and accompany tunes, and they sing. And, and once you get to kind of that level where you're competent at all those things, you've probably learned basically everything that this course is here mm -hmm. to teach you. So this course is sort of a shortcut, actually, to, mm -hmm. to, to that process. Um, I noticed that in the class you use the piano a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm not a piano player. So the, yeah, this course is, is designed for any instrumentalist on any instrument. Um, and you, know, you don't have to be able to read music and you don't have to have any prior knowledge of music theory. It starts at the very basic level. And it uses the keyboard because the patterns of the music that we're gonna be looking at are built right into the keyboard. So, and it's even color-coded, as you see, so it's very easy to see. Um, and the keyboard is very easy to play. You just push a button, and a lovely sound comes out, you know. So it's not like an instrument like, you know, the fiddle or the bagpipes where just to get a good tone takes quite, you know, quite a lot of work mm -hmm. initially. Anybody can just sit down and pl press this button and that beautiful sound will come out. And um, also if you don't have a keyboard, there are a lot of different virtual keyboards available online. If you just mm -hmm. Google virtual keyboard, you'll find a number that you can choose from. And those will work fine for this course too. Great. So, um, and so in this course, there are keyboard exercises and singing exercises and written exercises. Mm -hmm. So 
you're learning it in the information, all the information you kind of get in a few different ways so that you have a better overall conceptual and sort of oral understanding of the material that we're going over. And we take it in very small steps. And each step is sort of designed to be easy if you've mastered the preceding steps, so you go step by step. And um, it's very thorough and kind of repetitive to make sure that you really understand it well before moving on to the next concept. Um, so it's designed for people who are motivated to, to really understand this. It's not like a quick and easy thing. It's a very thorough step by step. Mm -hmm. But each step is designed to be easy and, and help you really master that one little bit of material. And then you move on to the next step where you use that material in a new way and with a little extra material. And, and it's a course that will probably take most people like a year or two to get through, you know. But people who play Irish music, it, t it tends to be a lifelong thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so if you... That can be at your own yeah, pace. And it's at your mm -hmm. own pace. And it's designed so it's just a little bit every day, too. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, some of the exercises probably take less than a minute mm -hmm. on a daily mm -hmm. basis. You know, you'll do like a little minute-long exercise. Later on in the course, they get a little more involved. But you can break them up into, you know, as small a chunk as you want. Great. And, um... So like I said, for me, learning this information made everything so much easier. It was, it was just, you know, I, I'm sure, I, I keep thinking about Helen Keller and when, you know, her, her tutor held her hand under mm -hmm. the, the pump and, and then wrote, you know, the letters for water into it and how suddenly she understood that, that things, you know, had names or something. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know exactly how that all went down, but, um, you know, on a much smaller scale, <laughs> That was how it was for me to learn music theory and learn that, you know, it wasn't just one note after another <laughs> for no apparent reason, that mm -hmm. there was a pattern and that's what made the music make sense and that's why it sounded good and, and people respond to it. And it just makes everything so much easier and, and for me way more fun and way more creative. So that's what I'm hoping for people mm -hmm. who take this course, that same kind of experience. That's You're getting closer. Good. You're getting closer. So I got past the, the intro. I got past the bio. 